Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, we're literally gonna hang out and play with some makeup. I have some makeup that is drugstore, some makeup that is high end, some that is new, some that is new to me. I just have a lot of makeup to try out, and I like to do these videos because I feel like you guys get to hang out with me. Go ahead, grab a snack, do your makeup with me. Let's hang out. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. Up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, by the way, I am filming a little evening video. It is 6 p.m. right now, so if the lighting changes throughout the video, that's why. I just wanted to make sure I got a second video out this week. Um, so yeah, and by the way, bare nails. I have not had bare nails in general or on camera in a very long time. I'm just kind of giving them a break. So let me see if I have any clips here to kind of put my hair back. Sorry guys, I can't find any. So we'll just do the the little <laughs> the little Taylor Lautner look. Have you guys seen that meme of what I think I look like <laughs> with my hair behind my ears and then what I actually look like? I look like Taylor Lautner. So let's start out with primer. Let's just get right into it. Um, I actually picked this up at Ulta today. So this is the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer, Hydrating and Refreshing. I actually have never seen anybody talk about this. I don't know if it's brand, brand new or what, but I did see it at Ulta. Um, it looks fun. I mean, I know that gripping primers are definitely like a hot commodity right now. And this was, I believe, like four bucks. So, you know, if we like it, that might be awesome. So it just says that it's a gripping and hydrating primer that will provide a fresh finish. It says to allow the formula several seconds to set to activate the full gripping effect. I don't know if I need more than that. Let's do like two and a half pumps. Ooh, so far, I am liking this more than other gripping primers because it's not actually sticky. It actually just feels like a thick gel, which I know a gripping primer is supposed to be sticky, but I hate when it's like too sticky to like blend out on the skin, to like rub out. It just gives me the ick. I don't know, it makes me cringe. So it does say to give it a couple seconds to activate. So I'm just gonna do that and maybe it'll become a little bit sticky, but it does feel hydrating. Um. It feels like it feels nice. I like the way it feels, but it's not sticky or grippy. Let's let it sit there for a little bit longer while we talk about the foundation and see if anything changes. So this foundation I'm very excited about because um, it's not brand new to the beauty market, but I believe it's new to the US. We'll say because it's drugstore, I didn't get to swatch it. So let's hope it matches my fake tan. So this is the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. IRL means in real life. So this is what the packaging looks like. I kind of want to go onto the website real quick because there's no claims on the back. Okay, so it's supposed to be a medium to full buildable foundation, soft focus, breathable matte formula. This formula is oil free, shine free, crease proof, life proof, and smudge proof. And by the way, a key ingredient in this foundation is actually niacinamide. So I feel like that's everyone's favorite new ingredient. So let's go ahead and test it out. We'll do half of the face. Let me zoom you guys in remember guys we are matching my blotchy fake tan okay i've been enjoying applying foundation with my fingers first to kind of like spread out the product and then i end up using way less um this color um is not gonna work at all wow i definitely messed up with that one. Oh my gosh what the heck I mean, i'm a little worried about it because we do have a brand new um concealer let me tap this out oh no you guys um the concealer that i got is definitely like warm undertones and this is very very pink it doesn't look like it on camera but in person this is like peachy pink so this is very unfortunate but i am gonna have to take it off because the concealer is just not going to look good, but I will say, just from applying the foundation, it looks really, really good. Do you see that coverage? I guess I'll just have to get a new shade and put it in a different video, but it looks really nice. I wanted just to at least give you that. It kind of looks like I have perfect skin. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to take it off. Sorry about that, guys. 
And by the way, the primer was never sticky. It actually just dried down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, reapply that primer. We'll put some foundation on together and then we'll move on with the video. Alrighty guys, I am back and I figured that we're gonna save this by me showing you my ride or die new foundation. It's the LYS. I did do a full face of LYS Beauty. If you guys are interested, I can put it right here. But I have to say, this has been my go-to. So let me show you guys in action. I literally only use one pump and I spread it on my fingers, spread it all over my face. And that's all I use, and it is so nice. It's hydrating, it's thin, it's uh, like a natural finish, and it wears very, very beautifully. So I figured I would just show you guys this while we are here. So once I do spread it around like this, I'll just grab a, actually I don't wanna grab a sponge. I prefer a brush with this, just to keep as much coverage as possible because there is such a small amount of it on my face. Alrighty, finally we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now that we have foundation, and I love this foundation, you need it, it's gonna be my next favorites, um, let's try out some concealer. So this is fairly new, and I feel like I've heard people talk about it. It's the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. That's what the packaging looks like, and then the actual concealer just comes in a little squeezy tube like this. I got the shade N56. So it does have 0.5% pure hyaluronic acid and it is supposed to be 24 hour hydration for all skin types. Blendable, lightweight formula, fragrance free. So let's try it out. Oh wow, definitely feels like an eye cream. I wonder how much coverage we're gonna get out of this. See how yellow that is? There was no way that this would work well with that pink foundation. Okay, this feels very lightweight, but like not in a good way. It almost feels like very watery. I really, really hope it does do something for me. I'm gonna do very, very light taps so that I try to keep as much coverage as possible. Feels not like an actual cream, like an eye cream. It feels like a water cream. Have you ever had those water creams where they're just very light and watery and almost gel-like? That's what this feels like, but I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so that's nice. It gave definitely like a light medium coverage. It looks nice, but my question is, how is it gonna sit, by the way? Kitty, kitty on the loose. So that is what that looks like. I do think it looks really nice and it feels really nice. It feels very refreshing. Now let's see how it's going to set. So I'm gonna go in with my go-to. This is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake and I'm gonna use a puff like I always do and set these bad boys and see if it takes powder well. Guys, if you are not pressing in your powder with a puff, you are missing out. It has changed the under eye game for me, honestly. Okay, wait, I'm a little shocked right now because this looks a little bit better than I thought it would. Not much coverage. Uh, you probably can't tell with my beauty lights, but you can see my under eyes, which is fine. That is what they said, but um, it did set well. It looks nice, and if you don't like setting your concealer, you might like this because it literally feels like a water cream. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I think it looks pretty good. I'm really glad. I honestly thought it was gonna be a dud. It just feels a little weird and watery and slimy, but it looks pretty good under the eyes. And if it's a product that you're kind of looking for, like something lightweight with hyaluronic acid, not much coverage, day-to-day kind of thing. And if you do want to set it with powder, it seems like this might be a winner. So let's move on to bronzer. So I actually have two bronzers. Um, they're both fairly new. So I have this one, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. Oh, and I also have this one. So this is the Hard Candy Instant Bronzer. So this one's actually shimmery and this one is matte. So I figured at some point we'll just have to mix them both. So maybe I'll just do one on one side and one on the other so we can see them like by themselves and then I'll mix them so that I look normal. So let's try this one first because I feel like the foundation was definitely viral. So again, this is the Fresh Wear Bronzer and I have the shade Tan. This looks like a very me shade. Usually I like to go in with like cream bronzer, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna tap this in. And by the way, I didn't set my foundation, so that's probably why the bronzer is gonna look so dark, but 
it's okay. Okay, so that blended out pretty well. What do we think? So far so good, huh? It is fully, fully matte. And it seems like it has a good amount of pigment. It's not crazily pigment, but it does have like a medium pigment. Not too light, not like obnoxious, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of just tapping it in and I think it looks pretty good. So I do really like that. So let's compare it to this one. So the hard candy again is called Instant Summer Illuminating Bronzer. And they do have a matte version, but I got the shimmer one and it's in the shade Beach Vibes. So let's see how that looks. Usually I would use something like this as a bronzer topper, but I want to see what it looks like on its own. Okay, so this one's definitely a little bit lighter in shade. And as you can see, it's giving some glow. It looks really, really pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's a little bit more natural, but it does radiate a lot. And I mean, any shimmer will kind of bring out the texture more than like a matte one, but I will say my skin still looks pretty good. So that is Hard Candy and this is L'Oreal. So now I'm just gonna grab some more and kind of mix it on both sides, but I have to say, I like both. So depending on what you're looking for, I think these are both great purchases um if you're looking for a matte shade they do have a couple of nice shades in it and the shade assortment for hard candy is definitely not as good as l'oreal but if you do find your shade i do think that this is like a pretty luminous bronzer i like that i look so summer ready don't i oh my gosh ready so for blush i do have a new product i actually have the whole line but i think this is my favorite so these are the brand new blushes from Benefit. Again, I do have the whole line, but I feel like some of these shades won't work for me and um, I would rather just give them to you guys or like in a giveaway. But Krista is a strawberry pink blush with a soft shimmer and this looked pretty. I will say, I prefer a satin blush than a shimmer blush. Let's try Pom Pom first. It's a natural matte and then uh, maybe we can add this one on top. So I'm not going for the berry tones that I always go to. I'm trying to switch it up for you guys. So I'm going to go for a more pinky cool tone shade, I believe. So that's what that looks like. That's very, very pretty actually. This is going to look stunning with the shirt. So let's try this one. So again, this is Pom Pom, brand new from Benefit. The packaging is smaller and there's no brush and there is a mirror. So that's kind of what's going on with that. So I'm going to grab some and apply it on the cheeks. Ooh, this is such a good shade. Why do I feel like this would look good all year round you know it's not too bright but it's also not too muted like it actually is popping up really nicely on the cheeks and then i always like to grab the top of a brush kind of blend my blush up to my concealer so we don't have like that harsh line you know what that harsh line makes me think of you know those people that um tan in tanning beds with um the goggles and then they get out and it's just like white around their eyes and then like red that's how i feel so i always have to blend up but well this is beautiful so this is definitely a shade that i'm going to be using a lot but um i will show you guys this other shade just to kind of test out different formulas because this is more of a shimmer look at that so that is a difference so let's try out krista on the other cheek this is like some hot fiery coral Ooh. I don't really ever go for shades like these, especially with my skin tone, but honestly, it's hard for a blush to look ugly. Like, blush just looks pretty no matter what. But that's what that looks like. Again, not my favorite. I don't think it suits me very well, but this is going to look really good on some of you. Yeah, I prefer this one. So I'm going to grab a little bit of Krista and put it on Pom Pom. We are looking crazy. And then Pom Pom on Krista. I know what you're thinking. I look like a clown, but let me tell you something. I have no evidence of this, but I truly believe that your face eats blush. It's in my system. It's in my system. So you can put a lot of blush on and it'll still eat it. So don't worry about all this blush. 
it's part of my body's diet. So I don't have anything new for eyes, so I'll be right back and I'm gonna do eyebrows and eyes and then we can finish out this video with a couple more new products. Okay guys, I'm back. So I just put some mascara, I tight lined a little bit and I put a little bit bronzer. I wanna show you guys something that is not new, but it is a new technique for me. So you guys know I'm obsessed with the NYX Thick It Stick It. That's all I have on my eyebrows right now. This is great, it lasts all day. No reason to need anything else, but if you wanna be hella extra, the hype is real about this. This is the got to be glued styling spiking glue. It's gel for your hair. But guys, if your brows are very like, if your brows don't behave, if you have thick brows, cause I don't have thick brows. If you have nice thick hairy brows and they just don't stay, this truly is awesome. So I do have the travel size because this is so much gel for a brow, but I bought this in Vegas. I was in Vegas last week, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would know that. I was all over my stories, but I did buy this. I saw it at CVS and I was like, you know what? I've never wanted to buy the full size because I feel like it would be wasteful, but let me try the travel size. And all you have to do is put a little, like the tiniest amount on your brush i already have brow gel on but this is what i was doing in vegas so that they would like last all day and i just brush it through and let me tell you guys when i tell you that this does not move and i will say obviously it's a little bit harder to take off when you're washing your uh, face because it stays so well but it does come off with regular like soap and water face wash oil cleanser everything like that but it does take a minute because it stays on literally four days if you wanted it to. So I don't like to do too, too big of a brow, but that will stay all day long. It will stay. So I'm just letting you guys know that, I mean, at the end of the day, if you've tried everything and your brows don't stay, there's a reason why this went viral and it's pretty inexpensive. I hate this brow. This brow is the best this brow i hate it i hate it i hate it do we all have like a really bad brow and a really good one or just me these are not sisters they're not cousins these brows are best friends who pretend to like each other but secretly hate each other moving right along we're almost done guys i don't have that many products to try but this is brand new and i probably need it because i haven't used a waterline liner in a long time and it used to be like my thing before it was even popular i was using it and it like really does open up your eyes the secret is to buy a nude slash like beige colored liner not a white one a white one is just going to be too harsh why is there two ends to this what these look the exact same all right let's just apply it Do we see the difference? This is going on pretty easily on the waterline. It works very well. It looks really pretty. But I have to say, the pencil is just not that creamy. And I'm used to like a very, very creamy pencil. And it is the Revlon Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the shade Nude. And uh, that one's very creamy. This works just fine. It looks good and it's double-ended. I'm not sure why. It looks the same on my hand. But um, I think it creates such a nice difference. It makes your eyes just more rounded, more larger, more bright. And so this is nice. It's not the best one I've tried. It is nice, but I do prefer the Revlon one. Okay, now we just have two lip products to try out. I recently got some lipsticks from Urban Decay. Uh, in PR, but I also purchased this myself. So let's try this first um, So I feel like these have been kind of going viral on TikTok. So these are the NYX This is milky gloss and I ended up getting the shade chocolate latte Shake and I just wanted to try it out and see what it looks like especially on its own So that maybe if you guys are interested in this shade or just this formula, I can show it to you guys This is what it looks like it smells exact. Oh my god. Oh my god. This smells so good. It almost smells like a Wendy's chocolate frosty. Mm. Let's look at this shade. Oh wow. This is very muted. Oh wow. Probably not the best shade for me. Mm. But it feels so good. You know what? I feel like with a good lip liner, this would actually be very pretty, especially for the fall. But wow, this feels so nice. 
not sticky it is nice and thick but not goopy and look at the shine it's giving me it's and it's almost it's not a full opacity but because it is milky it is giving me a good amount of color and it smells so good if you don't like smells though um, you're not gonna like this because it smells a lot like I can smell it but it smells great I feel like I'm at a cafe smelling these freaking Nutella croissants right now it looks very very pretty hmm I can see why everyone's been loving it on TikTok because this looks really, really pretty. I really like this. So that is a win for me for this gloss. I'm very interested to see these other lip products because as most of you guys know, I love the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks. That's just been my favorite formula. I think it's great. It's so long lasting and it's not matte or dry. And it kind of seems like Urban Decay did something similar. Obviously, the price range will be a little bit different, but um, we'll see if they're just as good or not. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips really quickly, and we can see what the heck this is about. This is brand new, by the way. Okay, so lip liner on. This is the Glam Light Frosted Flakes Collaboration Lip Liner, and I love it. This is called the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond. Unbreakable liquid lip color. Last all day. Instant shine. Does this not sound exactly like the Maybelline ones and it also says to shake well so this is gonna be the shade text me oh text them text them similar packaging let's shake for five seconds so it just says shake me well for five seconds don't worry it's worth the workout and then you're just supposed to apply it so let's see what this is made of I do love the packaging by the way very very sleek very very cute doesn't smell like anything. This is very light. Feels exactly like the Maybelline one, but who knows, maybe this is an even better formula. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then we can kind of test the transfer proof and then I will let you guys go back home to do whatever you guys want. I'm almost done with this video, I promise. Love how every time I'm done with a video, I actually put my hair back and look like a human again. So this feels exactly like the Maybelline one. It has a little bit of shine, it's not like super shiny and it has a little bit of stickiness to it. Not uncomfortable stickiness, but just like comfortable. So let's see if it goes on the back of my hand. Just a little bit. So it probably needs to dry a little bit more. But I have to say, I do really like this because it reminds me a lot of the uh, Maybelline one. But also, it seems so similar to the Maybelline one to the point where it's like, should you pay that extra amount of money? to get Urban Decay or should you just get the Maybelline one? I'm gonna put more lip liner so it kind of gets a little bit darker. I think what it comes down to is the longevity. I will say the Maybelline one does last a really long time. It's actually the lip color I have at my wedding because I knew it would last very long, but who knows, maybe this one lasts even longer. So I will keep you guys updated. I will let you guys know in my monthly favorites what the deal is, but I do really, really like this. It's really, really nice. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you all liked hanging out with me. I'm gonna go make some dinner and we'll go watch some Netflix. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you guys are. Thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. I love you so, so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!